Strictly we began a series on Thanksgiving that tukaita Thanksgiving is the master key na Pastor Eugene Dwell kwa mazisha yu series and he's back today unajua tulimkata at point seven but today he's back we are so blessed you're so honored mazi ni fura ilioje niks uli miss last week yu ina manisha uli miss point saba aha naza bukacha kuna mahali hiko itabidi 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 umeenda youtube utafuta hizo points na kama basi hata wewe uli hata last sunday tuko same was up you cannot just hear and live yes. like that you need to write them down one day you're gonna read them as well and it will help you mm -hmm. you know the word of god never expires so it's gonna help you otherwise pastor Eugene, welcome back <laughs> we need to get to Can you introduce yourself again for us? Mm. Um, my name is Eugene Morili, one of the pastors at uh, Life Church in Nimuru, and I bless God. Mm -hmm. Thank you, JC Sako family, mm -hmm. for having me once again. Mm -hmm. um, I'm a married man to one uh, Miriam Nyambura, mm -hmm. and I'm a Salamu Zaki. Yeah, I'm a lawyer. I'm a lawyer. Uh, amesema tu acha salimiane hewani hiyo ndio ukweli ya hewani tuko hewani but i know she is watching amen yeah. amen mm. you know last week we began this journey this series and it took a year kai kwa series mm. yeah thanks thanksgiving is a master key just to a, a, a small recap maybe you can just tell people what thanksgiving is and the importance and then you go on into now mentioning those keys as you as you go Wow. Uh, thank you, Miriam. Mm. Uh, thank you, uh, the JC family, uh, JC Sako family. Mm. Uh, last week we began on the matter Thanksgiving, and uh, indeed we learned that uh, Thanksgiving is a master key. When you read uh, Psalms 100 and verse number 4, mm. especially now for, for those of us who are students of the Bible, the message Bible says it gives us a certain aspect of that word. And it says, enter with the password, thank you. And you know, we are living in an age where everything has a password. password. Passwords in kila mahali. And we learned uh, last week, Yakua, uh, Thanksgiving is a password that gives us access, uh, not just to God, but also mm -hmm. to the things of God mm -hmm. and also to people. Uh, have you ever met people who you've done things for them and uh, they are not grateful? Uh, what that does, it, it cuts that access. The next time you'll not be willing to do maybe a particular mm -hmm. uh, thing even to, to such people. Mm -hmm. But Thanksgiving will give you access. It will always open the door uh, for the next and for the next. Mm -hmm. And uh, opportunities uh, sometimes are cut off because of people refusing to be grateful. And one of the points that we will learn today mm -hmm. is that refusing to give thanks, it is refusing to receive. Because th once you are granted something, maybe an opportunity, it could be something that is small today, but that thing, uh, when you're thankful, when you're grateful, it will open up a door for another bigger thing, greater thing, mm -hmm. and uh, I believe Thanksgiving is so powerful. Mm -hmm. And so that is where we begin or we start from today, mm -hmm. and I believe it will be a blessing. Yes, now, take it away, Percy. And we'll go make 0.7. We'll go make 0.6. 0.6. I'm trying to get a kisha. Today you have time. Today you have you have time higher. To end point seven, Sasa. Asante. Your camera is usually visible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Asante. Uh, mm. Welcome. And uh, we continue to learn from uh, where we stopped. In fact, mm. uh, people began to reach out mm. uh, through the week uh, that uh, send me the notes, uh, send me the remaining <laughs> points, and mm. I had just to send them. <laughs> so, najua kuna watu ambao wakona notes, but uh, we tutaendelea. Amen. Um, I want you to know that... Um, we, we began to, to read a story in the book of Luke, chapter number 17. Okay. Yes, Pastor. We, 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 yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We began to read a story in the book of Luke, chapter number 17. And when you read uh, that story uh, where Jesus interacts with ten lepers, and uh, we understood or we discovered that uh, when he sent them, uh, because they cried to him to heal them. And so when he sent them and he said, go and show yourself to the priest, the Bible says when they were on their way, when they were headed there, the Bible says that uh, uh, they realized that they were already healed. And upon discovering their healing, one of them turned 
the Bible says that he turned uh, because he realized that he was ill. When you read from verse number 15 of Luke 17, it says, And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face, giving him thanks. And the Bible says, And he was a Samaritan. So we realize that the rest were Jews, but this particular one individual was a Samaritan. And in verse number 17, he says that so Jesus answered, Were there not ten cleansed? But where are the nine? And the Bible says, Were there not found any? who returned to give glory to God, except this foreigner. Verse number 19, And he said to him, Arise, go your way, your faith has made you whole. Listen to me, when you don't know what is possible, you end up settling for that which is available. And, 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 and thanksgiving gives us access to the possibilities that are in God, the possibilities that are in people. When people do small things for you and you return to say thank you, it opens up that possibility for you even to be given more, for you even to uh, experience more, to be added more. And so today we will pick it up from point number seven because thanksgiving is a key, is a master key. And I know my points will not exhaust everything, but today we will we will just try to pick the few keys and we say number seven is that thanksgiving is the key to maintaining peace in life the thanksgiving is the key to maintaining peace in life and when you read colossians 3 and verse number 15 according to the niv version it says let the peace of christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you are called to peace and be thankful. We see that thanksgiving is a state of being. It's not, there, it's not just an action. It's a state of being. Be thankful that you can be thankful. You can choose today to adopt a certain posture. You can choose today to adopt a, a certain demeanor that, that, that you are thankful. Thanksgiving is a state of being. Philippians chapter number 4, verse number 6 and verse number, number 7. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving. We see that thanksgiving is an accompaniment. That thanksgiving is an accompaniment. It's not just enough to pray. And I know even as we begin the year, as the JC Sacco family, I know that we need to open and unlock this year and the possibilities that are in God, even through thanksgiving. We can pray, we can uh, bring our petitions, our supplications, but thanksgiving will grant us peace. And verse number seven is where I want us to, to focus on. It says, and the peace of God, the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I pray for you that is watching us today, that through and by thanksgiving, that you will locate the peace of God. There is a, a key that opens, unlocks peace in the lives of men that is called thanksgiving. Number eight is that thanksgiving is the key to submission under authority. You know, we live in an age where people struggle to submit. Even in our workplace, in our churches, in our families, in our marriages, in our homes, people are struggling with this subject, thanksgiving. Uh, uh, sorry, submission. Why? Because we are not grateful for what people do. Today I sit here, I'm grateful, even for the small things that people do. Even in my home, I'm grateful for what my wife does, for what my family does. I am grateful. And the day you discover the power that there is in thanksgiving, today we live in a world where people will lift placards and begin to say our rights, our rights. I'm a hakietu, hakietu. People are not grateful, even for small things. When was the last time you gave thanks to your, to your boss, to your, to your employer for even giving you an opportunity to work? Do you see, at the end month, if the salary, if the salary delays, we are big on, 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 on saying our rights, but we are not even big on on, on saying thank you. Have you ever uh, wondered how many people desire to have the opportunity you have? And so thanksgiving is the key to submitting under authority. And in the Bible, in the book of First Timothy, chapter number 2 and verse 1 and 2, it says, I urge you then, first of all, that petitions, prayers, intercession, and thanksgiving, and thanksgiving be made for all people for kings and all those in authority today if you begin to thank god for the people above you let me tell you you will rise as fast as you can uh, leviticus 22 and verse 29 according to the niv it says when you sacrifice a thank offering to god sacrifice it in such a way that it will be acceptable on your behalf. And this will lead us to the next point, which is point number nine. That we need to offer thanksgiving in a manner, in a way that it is acceptable on our behalf. Or, or, or yes, on our behalf. Number nine, thanksgiving 
is the key to living a sacrificial life. Yes, I know sometimes things don't happen the way we want. Sometimes things will not happen the way we desire. But thanksgiving is the key for living a sacrificial uh, life. Living a sacrificial life. And Psalms 107 and verse number 23 says, Let them, it is corporate, let them sacrifice, thank offerings, and tell his works with songs of joy. Sometimes when we sing praises, when we sing praises, we are offering thanksgiving offerings. Sometimes when we, we sing praises, uh, we are thanking God. We are offering what, what is called, um, uh, uh, we are declaring the works of God with songs of joy. And we see that this is a corporate call, but also there is an individual call, a personal call to this. When you read Psalms 116 and verse number 17, it says, I will, I will sacrifice a thank offering to you and call on the name of the Lord. Jonah chapter number 2 and verse number 9. The Bible says but I. It is it is. you need to cultivate that intention. You need to become intentional with thanking God. With thanking people. With thanking those who are uh, 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 under you. Th those who are above you. You need to be intentional. But I with shouts of grateful praise and with sacrifice uh, sorry but I, with shouts of grateful praise, will sacrifice what I have vowed I will make good. I will say salvation comes from God. Point number 10, it is that thanksgiving is the key to receiving from God. And we saw this even when we began, that thanksgiving does not just grant us access to God, it also grants us access to the things of God. It will not just grant you access to God, but also to the things of God. And so thanksgiving is the key to receiving from God. First Timothy 4 and verse number 4. Listen to this because this will change your life. This will change your perspective about thanksgiving. That for everything God created is good. We see this in the book of Genesis chapter number 1. That every time God created, he said it is good. And so thanksgiving Thanksgiving, thanksgiving uh, 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 shows that we acknowledge that God is the creator of all things. And everything that God has created is good, according to 1 Timothy 4 and verse number 4. And nothing is to be rejected or refused if it is received with thanksgiving. I want you to know that refusing to give thanks is refusing to receive. Refusing to give thanks is refusing to receive. And lastly, I want you to understand that thanksgiving is the key to a rooted, a built up, a strengthened, and an established life in the faith. What we call abounding faith what we call an overflowing kind of life. It is a life of thanksgiving. And I will repeat that point again, that thanksgiving is the key to a rooted, a built up, a strengthened, an established life in the faith. And I pray that today, even as you learn this, that your life will overflow with thanksgiving. Colossians chapter number two and verse number seven, according to the NIV version, the Bible says, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you are taught and overflowing with thankfulness. Allow me to say this. May your life begin to overflow in this year 2024, in this January where many are struggling, where many are saying it is the first month and people have cast spells even over this month. May your life overflow with thanksgiving. This is my prayer for you today that may your life overflow with thanksgiving. Giving. May God bless you and I pray that these points will transform your life and they will become light in your life of faith. Amen. 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 Thank you so much, Pastor Eugene. That was really powerful. Amen. Pastor Ewa Notes, I hope you've been blessed. I hope you've written enough notes. Come on, attack is notes tena. Unajua two places ya kumpata, unam DM na unazipa. Unam DM na unam follow, unamuliza maswali. If there's anything that you need to understand as well, follow it. Where? Um, Eugene Moradi on, mm. on mm -hmm. Facebook. Or Sir Eugene Moradi on Facebook. Mm. Uh, yeah, I think this is ni, 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 ni <coughs> millennials. So, but Instagram? Instagram. Instagram. Instagram.
<laughs> but then TikTok is too much work. Anyway, yeah, yeah. I find it very, very hectic even for myself. Mm -hmm. But anyway, thank you so much, Pasi, for the notes. And thank you so much for coming back again. Yeah, More yeah. grace. To keep part of the in Okuje. I'm out of the thing in Okam. Okuje. I'm so happy. We are so happy. What do we tell our pastor, Dix? Yes, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. And actually, yeah, it is, it is a, it's a good, um, uh, someone I would say, mm -hmm. to, or rather, some good inspiration to start to kick start the year. Mm. You know, starting with Thanksgiving, I know it will be a year of Thanksgiving. Mm. Amen, yes, amen. yes, yes. We cultivate that culture amen. of being thankful. Mm -mm. Yes, thank and you so much. Yes, mm. thank you indeed. Thank you, Nick. And mm. this is a challenge I want to throw to everyone mm. who is watching us this day. Mm. What were called 30 days of fasting, 50 days mm. of fasting, Why? 20 days of fasting, yeah. I know. <laughs> In fasting, so if I to Thanksgiving. Wow. Uh -huh. mm. uh, hallelujah. Anyway, we're going to go to Nick's. Mm. Chesam Zikimoza, one, two, All three, right. and we'll be back All with right. more. All right. I love you. I love you.